Dear students, now we are going to discuss virtual height of an ionospheric layer. Virtual height is defined as the effective height by which the radio waves are reflected from the ionospheric layer around the earth's curvature. So it is the effective height at which the radio waves are reflected. Do you all understand? Consider this diagram. So in this one we are going to transmit the radio wave from this transmitter to this receiver through this ionospheric layer. When a wave enters the ionospheric layer, it gets refracted. Okay, when a wave is refracted, it takes the curved path. So here we can see that it is bent down gradually. Okay, there is no sharp bending. So it is bent down gradually. That is called as actual path. The height between this ground surface and then the curved path is known as actual height. Do you all understand? This is the actual one. But we want to get the reflection from this ionospheric layer. That can be achieved at a greater height from this ground surface. For that we can take this projected path which is having the sharp reflection. Do you all understand? So this one is the projected path to which we can calculate the virtual height. Virtual height is nothing but the height between the surface and then projected path. Do you all understand? So that's what given here. The actual path of the wave in the ionized layer is a curve due to the refraction of the wave. The height from this curve to the ground surface is known as actual height. Correct? The height of the wave supposed to be reflected because we want only the reflection from the ionospheric layer to get that maximum efficiency. So that can be obtained by using the virtual height. It is not a true one. Then why do we use this virtual height means? To find out the angle of incidence required for wave transmission. Okay. In order to get the virtual height, we have to ensure that the path of the incident wave and reflected wave are same. If both are same, then the wave is reflected from an ionized layer at a greater height of this layer that's what virtual height it can be represented as h dash that is equal to ct divided by 2 where c is the velocity of light t is the time required to take one round trip of that radio wave do you all understand so advantages of this virtual height concept it is used in transmission path calculations transmission path calculation means if the virtual height is known, then the angle of incidence can be easily found. This angle of incidence is very important.